hey world, um, I have no idea what I'm doing here with these bibs, so uh, I'm just going to mess around with them for a few minutes, and hopefully you can see my frustration. Anyway, um, well, I'm just going to talk for a minute because I, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I really have no idea um, why I'm so OCD about having these bibs proper, but um, I am, and uh, it's been really frustrating over the past 24 hours trying to get these right. I feel like it's something super easy that I'm just missing, and that's probably why it's super frustrating. But anyway, uh, I'm just going <laughs> to go through a couple things and show you. I mean, initially, I was like, oh, man, you know, yeah, just flip it through the holes a couple ways. We'll figure this out, you know, twist till maybe the other way. Okay. You know, that's just having it right side up without any, uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, maybe it's something like pulling it through so that it turns in on itself. Nothing. Still here. Um... You know, it's so weird. Every time I feel like I'm getting somewhere and I pull something through or something else should be or whatever, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it. And then I'm like, god damn it. It's still fucking there. And that really sucks. You know, I've... I've often had, you know, little twists and tangles in my bibs before, but never anything that's been like this. Never anything that I haven't been able to actually free up on a chance or two. I really don't even understand what I'm doing also. I mean, I understand there's only five holes, really. So basically, I'm just dealing with a surface, a, a sphere, basically, an elastic sphere that has five holes. One, two, three, four, five. And as everyone's pointed out, I mean, basically, yeah, in a sequence of two holes across each other in some pattern, and I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, I hope it does, but it's, yeah. I'm probably making a giant fucking fool of myself right now. Which I hope somebody's getting a laugh out of it because it's really irritating. So I posted it in our math as well. Um, cause someone on, somebody under one of my original, uh, submission had just said, you know, he had studied math and something, Maybe he'd be able to help. Uh, dude, like, what the fuck? I got an idea. Um, so here, somebody said, so bike bike. I said, okay, so I did the easy thing and got a pair of bibs out and replicated your twist. Here's how to undo it. Hold your bibs facing you so that, so that your twist is in your left hand and your untwisted side is in your right hand. Well, if I hold them facing me, the twist is actually in my right hand and then it's not in my left, so uh, 
what I figured it, I, I mean, maybe he means this is the way facing me, just in front of me. Anyway, I would consider that facing away from me. There's the butt. But uh, anyway, okay. So move the straps in your left hand to the strap, or to your right hand, not overlapping. So basically just hold it out with your right hand. Um, where am I? Use your left hand to grab the legs of the bibs and swing them up and left. Through the armhole, that should be a leftmost, but is now held by your right hand. And bring the legs out through the chest hole, which is hopefully what I just did, without going through the armhole on the right side, which I bypassed. This should be very simple to see how to remove the final twist. The right arm strap passes through the left and uh, like I saw before I mean I, I still have the goddamn twist in the bib um, I hope you can see this stuff um, I really I mean I've, I've fucked with this thing for for two for I mean a day and a half now it's outrageous. Um, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but if anybody has any uh, suggestions, let me know. Thanks.